Hey guys, here we are with the first week of the stretching program. So this first week is geared towards contracting the last few points of your musculature in order to enhance your flexibility and mobility about the joint. So all the exercises that we're performing are going to require a three second sub-maximal muscle contraction followed by a three second relapse. Generally when you are forcefully contracting is when you want to think about engaging your core and then exhaling. When you relax, you're taking a three second inhale. So we're trying to match our breath with the forms of movement that we're performing here. So we're going to do a flow today that's going to require those components. So the first thing is going to be a standing lunge with contraction of your adductors as well as the front portion of the thigh here, hip flexor. So we'll get into a lunge with the knee over the ankle, back leg as straight as possible with your heel up towards the ceiling. Then you're going to take your hand, place it in the inner portion of the thigh, in this case it's my right leg, and I'm thinking about pulling my knee in to my hand. While doing that, I'm driving my foot through the ground as far as I can with my leg as straight as possible. So if you bend, you're going to lose that on the stretch. So extend, push into the knee, trying to push it away while your knee's going in so you feel your adductors, and you're going to feel more of a hip flexor. So here we're going to contract for three, two, one. Inhale for three seconds. One, two, three. Lean to the side, try to open up the hip flexor, and then go back into it. And contract for three, two, one. And relax. Three seconds. Inhale up. Pushing, driving. Think about pulling your legs together. You're going to repeat that for five seconds or five reps. After that, you'll then stand up into the standing, the standing lunge with your back leg straight. Try not to have your foot rotated out. Should be pointing forward, arms up. You're going to drive the heel down towards the ground. Try to lift up your toes so you get more of a calf stretch. Push through the front leg. Inhale in. Lean onto the side for three seconds. And then you're going to be trapped up for three, two, one. And then inhale, lean up to the side, and then repeat. Three seconds in, three seconds out. Then you're going to rotate and pivot to the other side to do the same thing for the other leg. So we'll reiterate, hand in the inner portion, push, contract, three, two, one, while still driving that leg. Inhale up for three, two, one, lean off to the side. Exhale, contract as hard as you can. Try to drive that foot down through the ground, push through the, through the leg. After this, you're then going to pivot into the straddle position. You're going to place the hands onto the ground, round out your upper back, straddle as wide as possible, what's tolerable. You're then going to drop down to your knee. Foot will be playing forward. You can either rotate it up or down. You can play with that. And you're going to sit your hips back and think about contracting your knee and heel into the ground for three, two, one, and then inhale up for one, two, three, and then exhale for three seconds contracting, and then relaxing by coming up and going back and forth. So you do five repetitions on each side, so it's a total of ten. Three seconds exhale, three seconds inhale. From here, you're then going to then pivot into this kneeling lunge. So you're going to drive through the heel, plant the back foot, right? So you're then going to hinge as far as possible. If you need something like a foam roller or a Swiss ball to have a balance, you can, that's okay. You're trying to hinge with the straightest back possible. Try not to round. You're going to drive your heel into the ground as hard as you can. Three, two, one, inhale and try to go a little bit farther. It's a lot more stress if you have your toe pointed up. You can either get rid of that a little bit, you can point it down, that's okay. And then you're going to contract again. So five, or three, two, one, and relax so you can go farther. You can also try to do some foot pumps here. And then you repeat three seconds exhale, three seconds inhale, and then you repeat five times. Then you can go ahead, plant, and then pivot to the other side. So if you try for three, two, one, relax, and try to keep your back straight as possible, sticking your hips out, 
and then try to sink each time after contraction. Then after this, you're then going to lean forward. Your knee should be over the ankle. And then you're, you're trying to then push the lateral portion, that outside portion of your foot, into the ground while driving the knee into the ground. So I'm trying to track three, two, one, and then trying to push myself out and see if I can relax and try to go a little bit farther. Then once I'm there, contract, exhaling for three, two, one, and then inhaling up. So another component. So just so you can see that what it looks like on the other side is that I'm pushing on the outside portion, driving the knee down, trying to smell the foot, contracting, trying to push the knee down, contract three, two, one, and then relax and see if you can try to sink a little more, contract, and then also to get more of this exercise, you can also straighten, straighten the back leg, contract three, two, one, relax and try to get farther and farther. And then, of course, what you do to one side, you do it to the other side. So you just pivot and go contract for three, two, one, relax, and repeat for five repetitions. So that should be a 30 seconds worth of total for each stretch, and it's a more of a contraction, relax, sub-maximum contraction, and this is geared towards enhancing that flexibility more so than just being static and dynamic with your movements. Good luck.